All right, it's July 20th, 2022. We're getting ready to hike the historic Okanichi Speedway Trail here in Hillsboro, North Carolina. So let's get started. As you can see, it's just a little sign that comes in off of this road here. As you come down through here off of the interstate, there's a little gravel parking lot here. You'll see a car coming out now, and it's quite crowded here. So let's get started. Not walking somebody's dog crap right off the bat. That's not good. Yeah, not a very big parking lot here, but it is being used quite a bit. And as we, and as we come up on their information sign, I can hear a train off in the distance. This little trail going to the right and crossing the road goes into Hillsboro. That's a Hillsboro Riverwalk Trail. We may do that one day, but today we're going to do the historic Okanichi Speedway Trail. You can see what the speedway used to look like. It's all overgrown today, though. Well, let's get on down the trail, see what they got to offer. As always, when I do these hikes, we'll turn the camera on and off as I see something of interest or have something I want to say, which is quite often a lot of times. My first impression of the park is it's very beautiful down through here, and it's even hard to imagine that this was once a huge speedway where 20,000 people would show up to watch a race here. Yeah, this track was uh, one of the first two original NASCAR tracks for their inaugural season in 49. And uh, it's only the only one left preserved in its natural state, I guess, <laughs> since the owner uh, who uh, built the track, France was his last name, uh, he eventually went down and built Talladega and that replaced his track up here because uh, people here were tired of them racing on Sunday, <laughs> I reckon. I think that's how the story goes. If I'm incorrect in any of this information that you guys know, just let me know and uh, comment and uh, straighten me out on that. But yeah, it, it was a farmland for a while and then the man that owned it before him uh, had a horse racing track and I believe the man named France was flying over in his airplane one day and saw it and decided he wanted to come down here and get it and build this track I reckon and for a lot of years this was the jewel of the NASCAR circuit for sure but let's go on down in here and pick it up near the racetrack and see what's left to see As we continue on up the trail here, we're still on the Hillsboro Riverwalk Trail. We're getting ready to merge with the uh, racetrack trail right up here. You can see a man with some dogs coming up through there now. A lot of people out walking their dogs today. Got this beautiful tree right here on the right. Man, that thing's cool. Got vines growing all up through there, all up in there. Yeah, nature's artwork right there for sure. That's beautiful. Check out it does that. Sun might be in your eyes a little bit, but you can see a texture on these old roots coming up through here. Yeah, this tree been here a long time along this fence line, so is this vine. That's for sure. I'm having trouble today with my exposure because we are in shade, out of shade. So I'm going to work with it a little bit here today and see if we can uh, get it right for you so you don't see much, so much sun flashing on and off on the lens so we're coming up on our second historic speedway trail sign to let you know where you are we were at one before now we're down here at this intersection shows you some of the cars racing and all that and people walking yeah they got the spectator trace the old path spectators took to the ticket office of main gate after parking their cars and they got uh wolf tree trace natural areas Terrace Trace, the path winds along the hillside where fans stood or found seating. Yeah, Beach Bluff runs along the ridge line. Big Bend, path loop near the sharp turn. Ports Walk is accessible from my air mount and proposed footbridge. And Mountain to Sea Trail is also along this trail. Yeah, that Mountain to Sea Trail, you can see right there. It's coming on in here. Pretty good information. There's a trail going spectator trace. Let's go, let's go down this one to the right. 
got some old <laughs> metal wall that I guess could have been original to the racetrack at one time. I don't know. You guys know, or is that just something they put there for decoration? <laughs> I'm sure there was a wall around at one time, probably. I guess. I don't know. I saw old videos. I watched a few videos, and it's just an open track. There's no wall for the cars to hit. If they run off the track, they just roll right over the edges along the uh, infield. There's nothing blocking cars from just wrecking and rolling right in on top of the people. And There's a, a little bit of protection for the fans, but not much. That's the way they did it back then, I guess. As we come down to what I believe is the track, you can see some people walking toward me, so we're going to take it right here. I think that that might be the front stretch there, and we may be coming down into a turn. Here's we take a right going to the back stretch. <laughs> it's hard to believe with all these trees going up in here that this was a racetrack. Cars screaming around it at amazing 90 miles per hour back in the day, which was a lot for those cars. and. Uh, on a dirt track and systems they had today. So, it wasn't nothing to mock at for sure. As we come around this first turn, you can see a little bit of a berm. That's what they would have built. If they come around, they would have slid on up there. They got a trail up here for some reason. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay. That goes down to the river down there. Let's go down there and check that out. I guess that's a trail. I don't know. Let's go look at it. I don't know if I walk around or not, but if you run off this, you can imagine them rolling off and almost landing down there in the river at one time or another. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll hold off. I think I'll hold off. We're going around the track and then maybe we'll do this trail. We're on the back stretch now. These cars would have been rolling down here about 90 miles an hour, wide open, trying to pass one another. And some of them old films I watched, they would slide out right over this little ridge right down toward the river. So there wasn't a wall to hold them in, so you had to be careful. And I think they even warned the drivers that if they felt like they was getting out of control just to back out, it was better to back off than just go over the edge and maybe end up down there in this beautiful, you know, river which is right over that berm. There's a little trail that walks around there as well. Yeah, I imagine a lot of them fans took a little dip in that river if it was hot during the race. But yeah, can you imagine the noise as they were coming around through here? I think uh, Johnson's car spun out one time in the, that video. I think that was the driver. And uh, he was in the middle of the track and cars were just flying by him. He gets out, opens his hood, takes his shirt off and is putting the fire out. Uh, on his engine with his back turned to these cars coming at him at 90 miles an hour and just barely missing him so yeah kind of crazy back then i guess they just did what they was going to do and wasn't worried about what was going to happen <laughs> but them guys had a bunch of fun and i would like to have seen it i've seen some of the old races in charlotte when i was younger but i of course i wasn't born when this track first started but i was eight years old it was still here when i was eight years old so i guess i could have come up here and seen one but yeah the cars were actually stock cars back then <laughs> not like today where everything's generic looking uh, i don't know I, I just i just think it would have been more fun to watch these races than the modern day races what do you guys think what do you nascar guys think would you rather see old track races like this come back or do you like the big mega track type races with the cars flying around about 200 miles an hour and uh, kind of looking all generic looking i don't know i guess there's a plus and minus for both yeah we're on the front stretch now won't be long we'll be up to the finish line where it all started and ended at every race and i believe they got some stands you can still see up here on the right We're coming up for the win here, right here at the flag stand, which is in an unusual position. It's on the left side of the track. In today's races, you'll see the flag stand on the right side of the track as you come on in. But I guess they did it. Had all their officials out here in the middle way back when. Yeah, and there's the steps leading up to the stands. Would have been full of all those fans. I think 20,000 people would have filled these races at one time or another. I got another little 
shop up there we'll look at in just a minute and I got a car over there but uh, I was noticing inside the track that there's a football field and I looked online and sure enough they use this area for community events and football and things like that and I don't know if you can see it but there's a field goal right over there behind them trees or in between them trees and I think there's another one right up there sure enough I ought to come out here and play a football game with all the trees that'd make it more interesting for sure I can see some people walking on the back stretch over there so yeah we're standing out here where a lot of trash talking would have gone on and a lot of fighting between people who disagreed <laughs> when racing was racing that's what they did a lot of cigarette smoke would been flowing in the air they might be smoking cigarettes and chewing tobacco I imagine <laughs> Uh, let's go on up to the other side here. Old metal steps, original ones. Richard Petty probably walked right up through here. Along with a, a lot of drunk fans, I imagine, because I bet they did some drinking up here too. Yeah. Hooting and a hollering. That's cool they saved all this. Didn't let it get bulldozed into. Some of the same old, same olds we got all over the country now. Probably housing or something other would have been put here. I don't know. Tastes good people like the ones that saved this one in the 2000s, I believe, to protect our history. And it's now on the National Historic Register. Yeah. I can see Johnson over there now. Everybody said, look at that fool out there. He tried to put that fire out and them cars coming right at him. He's gonna get himself killed. <laughs> oh man would have loved to have been there for that race so I guess this is a concession stand over here ain't much to it but we'll look at it see Pepsi Cola all over the place so maybe there was a sponsor I'll have to reset my exposure I'm not going to because a bunch of fools just tagged it in there, so I'm not going in there. Yeah, people have been lined up out here to get the drinks. Maybe some uh, people set up there, maybe some officials set up there and looked down the track and called the race. Maybe that's where the announcer stood or sat so he could uh, talk it up. Yeah, I'm going to link to that uh, video below and you can listen to that announcer, man. He was hamming it up. He made those old announcers they really made the race interesting hearing him talk about it all right let's go down and check that car out next so this is the type of car they would have been racing different types in this model like i said they were stock cars they'd have bought different types of cars and come in here and race each other just to see who was the fastest and a lot of these old race car drivers were of course bootleggers back in the day running shine <laughs> kind of how things got started everybody just wanted to see who was the fastest i imagine this was old 72 i don't know if this was the original car for somebody but it looks like it's got the roll bars in there that was safety back in the day roll bar old steering wheel as hard as a rock and just a regular seat <laughs> yeah stock car racing at its finest no doubt all right i hear another train up there blowing its horn let's continue on around and see what other trails we got in this place here's another car sitting on the track as we walk along Herbert Gates went all out on that lettering number 44 it says junior there <laughs> I just love these old cars man look at that in there look at that you got to wreck in this thing started flipping around I imagine you got hurt no doubt about that this one got a bar on the front which I find unusual so maybe, maybe car, I don't know, did all cars, I don't think they did have a little tow bar, better be towed, that don't make no sense, but that one's got one. Yeah, Someone have been in here drawing a, on it. Yeah, number 14. So there's a look back at the track and the infield, and we're gonna turn and go up this trail on the upside and see if we can get to some of these other trails, the air trail, I think it's called, and the 
Poet, Poet Trail, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, behind his fence, though. Hmm. All right. Got a picnic table here. I think this is going to walk right back to the... Oh, here we go. We can go through right here. That way goes back to the concession stand. That old bird house is leaning back. Needs to be fixed for the old birds. All right. Let's go out one of these gates. I guess they did have a fence around this place. People could sneak in and watch the race for free. <laughs> go back left. That's where that sign was. That second sign we looked at. We're going to take a right now. Head on up through these pines and sycamore trees. As we come up on the racetrack again, this is the ticket booth. So I imagine the way we walked in here now was where all the fans would have come. And the way we first entered the track was the way all the racers would have went to take the cars in on the track. That'd be my guess. Yeah, how many of you guys bought tickets right there? Came to see one of these races? Let me know below. There's a building over there that goes out to some parking lot. Yeah, they call it Orange Speedway after a while for some reason. Some people call it the Hillsboro Speedway. 100 mile, Grand National. $4,600 purse, late models only. September 25th, Bill France Racing. $4,600. Man, if they saw how much race car drivers make today, they must be going, Lord. Lord. I imagine $4,600 was a lot of money back then. Yeah, there's another sign talking about it. Let's see if we can pop that off so it'll focus. Yeah, there's that stand, all them people. A lot of them are standing. There's some of them cars racing right there. And uh, I guess that's old France right there. And who's this? Is that Petty? Petty right there? That's pretty good. Got all the drivers out through there. They even had a woman driver early on too, but I can't remember what her name is off hand. And over here is where everybody would have had to go if they needed to go. And I'm tell you, I hope they had more than just this one. <laughs> this would be a crowded out house with 20,000 people sitting around here. I'm sure it did. See you in there. Let me fix the zip. There's the outhouse. And it was truly an outhouse. <laughs> yeah, truly an outhouse back then. That's cool. I like that. Let me fix the exposure again. So I guess you walked on down there and that takes you to the stands. I don't want to go there. We're going to go left and follow these guys up here. See where it goes. It looks like the trail splits right after you pass the little sign we was looking at. It says Wolf Tree Trace. And then there's another one that goes to the right. So I think I'm going to take that see where it goes now as I come around the bend here we got another little building here looks like it'd be perfect building for a haunted movie <laughs> oh another bathroom this is for the men maybe that other one's for the women nope it's uh, it's for the women so it's split hmm <laughs> Lighten it up for you, women. You had your little crapper right there in this little metal building. Couldn't be too dainty to come out to the races back then like you are today with all your fancy air-conditioned suites and porcelain toilets. Oh, my. <laughs> a little ways off from that outhouse, I came around the corner. I can see back that way. There's the stands down there, so that was the way people would have come around again. So the Wolf Trace Trail might have been the way to go, but I do see a little trail right here. So, all right, I see now this little trail is going back toward Eno River right down there, and it's probably going to go in behind the back stretch we were on earlier. So we're going to turn around, go back up to Wolf Trace. 
but I don't want to, I want to go see what that porch trail is. As I was coming back up the hill, the trail split off again. I can see the old outhouse off to my right, and I saw the sign that said wolf tree. I'm trying to figure out why it's called a wolf tree. I figured there might be a face in it or something, but that knot right there don't look like a wolf to me. Anybody know? Anybody know? H and E, you carved your names here. Do you know? Why is it the wolf tree? <laughs> I know it's called Wolf Terrace Trail. So maybe I'm on the back side of the Wolf Terrace Trail. I don't know. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do this one. There's the outhouse right up there on the left. Another sign up here. Let's see what it says. Beach Bluff. So this must be the Beach Bluff Trail. Let me pause it right here on the Beach Bluff sign. I'm going to look at my map real quick. Okay. Looks like we have to cross the river here somewhere. So we're going to take this trail here. see if we can get across I know they talked about building a bridge at one time but I don't know if it's built yet there's some kind of old marker right there hmm. all right I'm getting my exercise anyway let's go on around I see the river down there let's see if we can get across so we did a little research and uh, came down here on the Eno River. They're supposed to uh, build a bridge that crosses over to that porch trail, but that porch trail is part of Mount Air Plantation. That's right on the other side there. And I guess you drive around there to walk that trail. So it's kind of not part of this Speedway Park at this point. But on their map up there where we started at, it showed a proposed bridge. And I think that'd be cool because you could kind of cross over there and see that as well. But I'm not sure, maybe there's a fee over there at Mount Air. But I don't think so if we're gonna build a bridge. So anyway, that's it over there. I'm gonna walk around the, this little trail. I've been seeing it as we walked around the back stretch. It just follows the Mount Eno River around. So we're gonna walk around that back stretch and head back up toward the car and see if there's anything else to see. Yeah, here's the back side of that turn we was on when we saw the two guys on the Segway so you can imagine the cars many a car rolled out over here bounced down through there maybe even ended up in the river there <laughs> here's a better look at the river as we continue our walk around the back stretch you can see a little trail down there the kids probably made go down in there and wade around in that river I'm surprised more people haven't put their name in this tree over the years most of these trees where people walk have all scarred up I'm glad to see that was not and there's the track again let's climb up this little hill here a minute I'm gonna look at something Ooh. yep sure enough there's the back stretch we walked around earlier I didn't realize the river was this close man if you got in a wreck and rolled out down through here you were in trouble and probably ended up down there. Let me see if I can fix my exposure for you. Probably ended up down there in that river. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who needs safety around a track? Let's build it right up against the river. <laughs> it was probably all right for the horse races. They didn't spin out and flip over the hill like this. <laughs> Just thought that was interesting. We're up on the track again and we're looking down the front stretch at that old car we looked at earlier. Yeah, this is the road that the drivers would have came out on and they would have headed on up to the road where we parked. I think I'm gonna call it right here. Hope y'all enjoyed this walk through NASCAR history. I know I did, I thoroughly enjoyed myself and a lot of people have been out here today doing the same. So come on out here, walk around the track, especially if you're a NASCAR fan. And I'm going to link below to those two old 
NASCAR race films that they have for this track and I'll put it in the comment section below and uh, I'll pin it to the top so you can watch those. It's kind of cool to watch those and then come down here and walk around. So anyway, here's the gates up ahead where Petty would have came through, Junior Johnson, all them guys. All of them. All throughout history. All the way till 68. When the last race was won by Petty himself. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.